here's this drone it's a happy model mobula 67 it is an fpv tiny whoop it has ducted propellers it has an f3 processor it has a video transmitter which works at 5.8 gigahertz on-screen display in your goggles and beta flight is the software for the processor okay and it should have a fr sky receiver built in stickers So here's the drone and the bind button is here on the top right side, that's the drone, here's the head, the camera and the bind button is here on the top right side. Okay, so we have to remove one, two, three screws, there are tiny screws there, it's non-magnetic, tiny screw. That is the bind button. And that's the Terranis QX7S. Let's see how to bind this drone to this radio. Just by binding it you won't be able to fly it yet. There's more to do. So connect the batteries. First battery. And second battery. So you have to remove one, two and three screws and then you can remove the top okay now here we have the bind plug it's a very tiny thing press and hold that one and then the leds will behave differently now they are flashing so press and hold that tiny button okay and now they are solid constantly on okay now power on the radio hold that button sd card whatever now press the middle button and let's go down by rotating it to the right, press it in and create a new model. Okay, there's the model, let's go to the page button to go to the second page, page and here we have model name and rotate it, let's say to M and accept it, M from Mobula. Exit, okay, now rotate it to the left and go here to bind, which is B and D. And as you can see, the red and the white LEDs are constantly on. Now tap and hold on this bind. 
now it's flashing now just accept it with the right button now it's not flashing so it was bound already so exit exit and exit and it's not flashing and after i turn off the radio it will flash model still powered confirm yes exit and now it's flashing so it detected that the radio turned off and after i power it on it will be solid okay accept it sd card and now it's solid so it detected it but it's not doing anything yet now if you mounted the top back and you want to bind it once again to the radio for example after you have resetted all the settings to default in beta flight then you have to bind it once again so in this case let's use another part also that's the short circuiting plug plug that in there and plug in just one battery and since this one is short circuited the power will go directly inside the drone okay now the bind plug is here on the top right side let's try to access that one using a non-metallic object a toothpick so currently the red and white LEDs are flashing press and hold that small bind plug okay and now they are not flashing they are solid now let's get the radio power it on press the middle button we already created that M for modula with this, for this one now go to the second page second is mentioned up here I rotate it to the left and go there to B and D for bind and enter and now it is flashing so it was bound accept it exit and exit okay and now if I turn out the radio the LEDs will blink Confirm, yes. There these are blinking, flashing. There's a difference. When I power on the radio, it will detect it and it will stop flashing. Fail safe, okay. And it's not flashing. Okay, let's set up that fail safe also. Press the middle button, page button. Okay, go up, rotate it to the left. And here we have a fail safe. Enter there and go to the right and set it to no pulses and accept it exit exit now let's turn off the radio it should flash yes it's flashing so it's recognizing the radio power it on and the fail safe was eliminated also now we cannot arm the quadcopter yet we have to do another modification middle button and page and let's go to six page to mixer okay here on the mixer page we have to go down the first four elements throttle aileron elevator rudder are for these these are airplane terms but it's used for drones also throttle is still throttle the first one okay so the fifth one is for arming it's usually this switch you can set it to another switch also the sixth channel is for the flight modes, whether you want to use self-leveling or acro. I used to place that one here to this switch. And the channel 7 is for beeping. Beeping, I usually set it up to this one because it's spring-loaded. So, let's go to 5, enter, come down here to source and currently S1 is selected so enter there also and just flip the switch once and now it's switch F if you use another switch now it's switch A that one is switch B switch D switch C and so on okay so flip that switch it's recognized as F accept it and just exit from there okay so that will bind it now let's go to the sixth one enter there come here to source enter and that will be the flight mode so flight mode will be controlled by this one switch B that was automatically detected 
now accept it exit from there also okay and channel 7 enter there go to source enter and I will use this lower switch switch H accept it exit and exit now we just set up three switches in the mixer page now it's still not working we have to do some modifications on the computer also it's visible here switch F now disconnect the battery and connect a micro USB from the computer plug it in into the drone like so I have to download and install beta flight configurator beta flight configurator and here check auto select and connect okay and now if I move the drone notice it's moving there also so it's connected I already resetted this one that's why I had to bind it once again so let's go here to ports make sure this one is enabled as it is right now the manual says do not enable serial RX and in the manual you have peripherals and UART UART 3 here it's mentioned TBS smart audio so let's just select that one save and reboot okay since auto connect was checked it should connect automatically back to the drone go here to configuration the manual recommends DSHOT 600 manual says these values 8 kilohertz and 2 kilohertz here at receiver you have to select these SPI RX and FR Sky X X is selected if you used here on the radio on the second page if you used mode D16 if you used mode D8 then notice it's already flashing it's not bound and this one is working with D16 so it's already bound on D8 is not bound D16 is bound okay so if you used D16 then select X if you used D8 then select D I want to make the drone beep if the radio is turned off and uncheck this one if the drone is beeping while it's connected to the computer USB save and reboot okay here I am power and battery warning voltage let's reduce it just by one because the minimum is 3.3 so let's use 3.4 as the warning voltage okay save it here in the corner receiver now this one should be T in the front not A so let's use another one like so T in the front and save now if I move the throttle notice that it just increased to the maximum and to the minimum this throttle so this T A E R R throttle roll pitch and yaw ok so it is working let's just save it now here at models nothing is here so arm let's add the range ok and for arming we used this switch if I flip that one these small things are moving so I flip the switch and now it's there so when it's down it's not armed and when it's up then it's armed so in this portion it will be armed so let's just reduce the size of that one also so if I flip the arm switch now it's disarmed when this goes there then it's armed okay if you set here to auto and now flip the switch this one then it's automatically recognizing that that one is aux one okay angle let's add a range and for angle mode or acro mode i use this switch and if i flip that one it's slowly moving now it's here now it's there and in the middle it's there okay so if you set this one also to auto because you don't know which aux would be that then from auto after you flip the switch it's automatically selected to if you set all of them to auto and flip a switch then both of them go to aux 2 
so make sure only one auto is selected at a time so in the first portion it will be acro and in the rest of them it will be self-leveling okay so in the manual is shown like so and if i flip this switch and now it's at the end and now it's there okay and let's go here to beeper also at the range beeper is this one the lower one so only that one is on o2 and if i flip that switch then it's automatically selected as aux 3 okay now it's not beeping and when it's in the other corner somewhere there hold that switch there now there it should be beeping not beeping because it's at the left and beeping only when it's on the right okay save it and that's it disconnect unplug the micro usb now let's plug in just one battery okay and let's see what will happen we are on the m that is the modula and it's not arming that's working that one is detected that's the flight mode and it is working but since air mode is not enabled the propellers are not spinning you have to throttle it if you enable air mode save and reboot then when the arm switch is flipped up then the motors should constantly spin so that's air mode Oops. Okay, and here we have goggles also. It is seeing what is in front of the camera. And of course, you can access the menu by placing this one to the left and moving that one up. So hold this one to the left. And there it is. So you enter this MISC by pressing to the right. If you move this one to the left, right, it will exit and only right will enter if it cannot enter then notice it's increasing that value now it's decreasing it to the right exits to the right enters to the left also exits go down to exit and enter that exit and it hides the menu so left in the middle and up and then release this one so here i'm charging the batteries and i'm using the lowest settings so that one is set to 4.0 and the larger one is 4.0 35 so it's on the lower setting and this one 0.2 amps and on the top it's 0.6 amps and using the 02 we have some data there channel 2 4.1 but nothing is there 4.21 nothing is there channel 4 is this one 3.9 nothing there and nothing there Chan USB 5 volts channel 1 is this one 3.95 okay and I'm powering it through this port on the left side I'm not using a battery to discharge your battery in order to charge your battery I'm using this one that's an output anyway USB out okay and this one is set to 12 volts DC it's a 1000 milliamp adapter these are still solid that is okay so the battery is charged up as you can see these ones are blinking those are not really just a tiny amount that's the third and that's the sixth 4.23 is this one and sixth 4.24 Now all of them are blinking 